The Lord of the Rings may be my favourite film trilogy, Peter Jackson's mega production that attempted to put to screen what was often known as the unfilmable book in three feature length instalments succeeded not only critically and commercially, but with fans of the original material as well. The trilogy made cinematic history in a myriad of ways and set cinematic and storytelling trends that we still see in films to this day. Regardless of whether you love it, hate it, or are completely indifferent, The Lord of the Rings is ingrained into popular culture and has undeniably changed the way cinema is made. From normalising the three hour runtime to demonstrating how to have large scale battles play out convincingly on screen, it's hard to find a blockbuster film that doesn't owe at least an aspect of its production to The Lord of the Rings. The success of the trilogy resulted in upwards of a decade's worth of merchandise, video games, book re-releases, and not everything was directly connected to the film trilogy. Many video games featured the branding of Lord of the Rings but told their own story, adding to the film's universe, such as War in the North, or were based in the world of the book, such as The Fellowship of the Ring game developed by Black Label Games or Lord of the Rings Online. At the end of 2012, fans got what we never imagined would happen with the release of the first part of Peter Jackson's The Hobbit, a film adaptation of the prequel to The Lord of the Rings. The final part of The Hobbit was released at the end of last year, and that leaves only the extended edition Blu-ray of The Battle of the Five Armies to look forward to at the end of this year, before Peter Jackson will have truly finished his contribution to the world of Middle-earth. While I have no doubt the books will continue to sell and merchandise and video games will continue to be made and expand the story in new ways, such as the recently released Shadow of Mordor, I perceive that Middle-earth on screen is about to take its longest break since the Fellowship of the Rings release in 2001. While not the saddest thing for fans as we have an amazingly made set of six films that we can continue to watch over and over, being at this turning point has gotten me thinking about the future of Middle Earth on screen and how it might eventually make a return. I'm sure at some point, and more than likely in our lifetime, the powers that be will deem it time for another filmmaker and production team to remake Lord of the Rings with what will then be state-of-the-art technology. While I admit that this is more likely, I have an alternative suggestion that, while far more unlikely, is something that I not only would rather see, but actually want to see. The Lord of the Rings should be made as a television series. Something that alerted me to this idea was that I realised that if you take each of the Lord of the Rings films and get to the one hour mark, there's a natural pausing point around there. I can just imagine some end credits starting at this point and the ensuing excitement of waiting for the next week's instalment. For example... Rivendell, Master Gamgee. The House of Elrond. Did you hear that? Rivendell. We're going to see the elves. And to show you this doesn't just happen once, you can see a similar thing here. Now this doesn't mean that I think the film should be split up and broadcast on television, but it does demonstrate the source material's pacing, which, when adapted, becomes somewhat episodic. It would lend itself well to being split up without losing momentum and focus. That aside, I think the main benefit from a TV series adaptation would be a far greater overall runtime. The films do a fine, fine job adapting the book, but there are certain alterations and omissions that, while completely understandable, would still be interesting to see played out on screen. Nobody missed the old forest arc in the Peter Jackson films. So much much so that if you hadn't read the book you probably wouldn't even notice that a huge chunk was completely ignored. But as a television series these less important moments could be adapted. There are very few television series where every single episode progresses the main story in a meaningful and dramatic way and I'd have no problem with a couple of episodes of The Lord of the Rings the series featuring the hobbits messing around in the old forest meeting Tom Bombadil and confronting Barrow Whites. The only problem I would see with making a television series and come to think of it remaking The Lord of the Rings in any way is that it would be hard to distance the remake completely completely from the original film trilogy. To retell the story in a new way without constant comparison being made between the two would be incredibly difficult. The less interesting problem of budget would also rear its head as a story like this can't avoid the requirement for large scale battle scenes in grandiose locations. A film's budget can cope with this but to do the story justice this would most likely have to be the most expensive television series ever made. While it's fun to speculate I'm really in no hurry to see any of this realised, the films still hold up perfectly well even after 12 years. People can still come to them fresh and not feel like they're seeing some relic from a past day. My desire for a TV series is more so a, if it has to happen, this is what I want, rather than a, I need this in my life stance. Thank you so much for watching, and if you can think of a story that would work really well as a television series, let me know in the comments down below, I'd love to hear. Also, if you want something a bit more concise, check out last week's video where I review the film Real Steel in a single minute. And uh, I was going to do a visual joke with this Battle of the Five Armies Cup, but it's too big to really fit on camera with its massive straw. So I'll just, I'm just gonna show it to you, that's easier.